Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California. Don't worry, it's not that late. It's only midnight. I want to get ready to go to bed. I don't go to bed before midnight. Today, I want to talk about bottles. Gary thought I was crazy. For 30 years, I've been saving any medicine bottles I kept from my medical. So I've been with the same company for years, the same medical team. And a lot of them, since anything we get is generic, it's always been the same type of bottle. Now, these have a little bit of flex to them. That's really what you need. And I'm going to show you in a minute what, well, you know what, while I'm talking, I'll, I'll, let me t tell you what I'm going to do. I've always wanted to use these for something. I was storing beads in them for a while. I was doing seeds, but now I'm growing in them. And what I do is I take an empty bottle and I pour hot water in them, in it. Now this I just boiled a few minutes ago. You want to make sure it cools down just a little bit. Now, this one's going to be really hot. Why am I doing that? Am I cleaning it? No, I'm not cleaning it. I'm going to get the label off. And I want to do a clean peel on the label. Let's cap it so I don't burn myself. If you use water that was boiled and just as soon as the tea kettle went off, you poured it in there, it's too hot. Let it sit for a few minutes, three, four, five minutes, and then you're going to pour it into these plastic containers. All right. You can do it with these as well, but those are going to be harder to do the next step I'm going to do. And then I'll show you what happens if you do it right and if you do it wrong. If it's, it doesn't matter. You can still use it. What you're going to do now is you're going to test it after you've boiled the water. What I'm doing is I'm making little seed planters. And you want to slowly see if you can peel it. Now maybe my water wasn't hot enough. It's got to be hot, but not, boil. oh no, there it comes. Now very slowly peel it. Now if, if the glue does not come loose, put some more hot water in there. Start over again. See how now you're going to get a clean peel? If the water's not hot enough, I'll show you what happens. But this is this is fantastic. You can get the label off with no glue. You don't have to use goof off or anything to, to get the glue off. Oh, that's terrible, but it's a good product. But this is so good. Then you have a bottle. Look at that. Perfectly, whoa, clean. No glue residue or anything on there. Now you can take your label because you've got your personal information on it and you can just cut it up and throw it out in the trash. You're done with this. So now we're done with that. That can go into the trash. Now we have this. Now let me show you the other thing. I'm going to pour it back in here. I'm going to let it float for a second. While I'm talking, I'm just going to, I don't know if, it, no, it probably won't melt the table. What I was saying is if the water is not hot enough, you won't get this clean, nice, shiny plastic. You'll have glue stuck to it. And then you're going to either deal with it. And you know what? Worst comes to worst. Take some paper tape or not paper tape, but you can use paper tape. That's really good. But you can use masking tape and then you can put it around there and you can label it for your plants. See what happens. Once it's stuck, it's hard to get off. I'd have to re put hot water in there and work at it but it's not going to hurt anything let me show you what i use them for i got a sugar snap pea growing in this one and what i can do with this oh the roots are coming through the bottom is i can sit this anywhere because no water is going to leak that's why i love containers i do double containers all the time double cups the red cups too but with this you can use a paper cup this thing is ready to go out in the garden and see how the bottom is being all eaten away that's perfect because now I can take it out in the garden, peel off some of the cardboard, leave some of it on the top. So when I water it, it's going to go directly to my pea. Plus, it's going to protect it from roly polies. So you can do it that way. The other way you can do it is like I'm doing my mushroom plants. I actually planted directly in them. And if you water too much, I mean, you could put tool in there too. I've done that too. But right now, I don't have tool. If you put too much water and you can't tip it and get it out, you can unscrew the bottom. Take the water out you don't need and then screw it back on. You can always put something on the bottom like a little tool. Oh, that's right. I was going to show you how I make the plastic. 
I don't think I've got one. I'll have to look. Sometimes, you know what? I will show you. And then this one is a geranium, and I'm rooting a geranium. This is a purple, like a Martha Washington geranium. But this has been great. I mean, I absolutely love it. My mushroom plants grow really good in here. This one is a bush baby zucchini. I only wanted to try a few seeds. I'm not ready to plant that many. I've already got other zucchinis growing. So I put three seeds in here. I can separate it. And it's labeled on the cup. And I put a little paper towel in there just because you can do it whatever way you want. And then this one, oh, I've got some real little fig leaf gourds, the shark fin melon ones. They're real tiny seeds. And I want to see if the tiny seeds will grow. So I put a few of them in here. Now this can sit on my windowsill. It can sit here on my table. This is what I was going to show you. When you take the label off and you've got it sitting in hot water, I'm going to do a couple more, so maybe I'll do that. You can take a scissors, a small scissors, and you can just get in there. This is so great. And just cut the bottom off. Go all the way around. It can be any small scissors you want. I'm going to turn this around. This is fantastic. I have a whole shoebox now of these, ready to go if I want to plant anything. I mean, why throw them away? That's what you're supposed to do. And I know a lot of you keep them and put different things in them, like seeds and stuff, but there's no reason to throw it away. Now I've got this. Now, remember I told you, I have bigger scissors. This is so tiny. I told you I put plastic on the bottom of some of these and then unscrew them if there's too much. You cut the disc so it's going to fit inside the plastic. Like I said, you can use tools. If you've got tools, you can do that. This way, you're throwing away very little plastic. You're going to make it smaller so it's going to fit on the bottom of your container. Now, I'm sure you've got other ways and you're yelling, hey, we could do it this way. Then do it your way, really. Do it whatever is going to work. Now, I've got that sitting on the bottom. If I had to open it to let water out, because I put soil in here, see, there's a plastic bottom because the disc is sitting in there. It fits perfect. Now, the water will still seep through because it's cut, you know, it's not cut perfect, it's not watertight. But in the meantime, you can unscrew it if you need to, and it just works great. It holds a little bit of water on the bottom, too. And now you can sit that anywhere, and you can just decide whatever you want to grow. If you want to grow directly in there, or you can grow in a paper cup if you're taking it outside. You don't need a soldering iron. All you have to do is punch a hole. You've got a hole now, just use a paintbrush or pen, pencil. Now you can fill this up with soil and you can grow in there just like I'm, just like I did this one. It's fantastic. Look, so that's what I'm going to be doing right now a lot of. I, I absolutely love these. It's been working out so good. I have a whole bunch. Like I said, I collected them for about 30 years. And Gary kept saying, you've got a whole box of them. I said, yeah, but every time something happens or they want to give you something and the kids or whatever, um, I just saved it. And because th their bottles are all the same. And then you just have it ready to go. And they're so quick and easy. And they make really good little flower pots to start your seeds in. And I've got them is what it is. Now, same thing. Cut this disc, put it in. If you don't want to, you can throw it out and use tool instead. It is just the greatest thing. So I wanted to come and show you that. And like I said, with this, this is a stiffer plastic, though it does flex. You can soak it. This has got calcium in it right now, so I'm going to leave it. But you can soak these in hot, hot water. Some of these labels, if they use a different glue, may not come off as good. This one did. If Don't worry if it doesn't. I told you you can put masking tape over it. Soak it in hot water. Cut it. If you can't cut it, if for any reason it's too hard to cut, you can always start it if you've got a soldering iron and you can get the bottom off that way and then you have another planter to plant your plants in. So this is just like a little little something I wanted to tell you because I know some of you have seen this sitting on my windowsill. It's like, what is that? That's what it is. It is just medicine jars, vitamin jars, whatever you want to call them, containers, plastic containers, ready to plant in and you can do it either way. You want to grow directly in them, grow directly in them. And if you don't want to, put them in a paper cup. I think I'm going to go to sleep soon.
but I wanted to share that with you because you'll see them all over. They're all over my windowsill. They're all over everything. And they're really a handy little container. You know those little tiny flower pots? They're, they're not that cheap to buy a whole bunch of them. And some of us already have these. So why not? And you don't need that many. Like I said, all I wanted to do is get a couple fig leaf gourds. Gourds? Fig leaf. Oh, that's a tongue twister. Shark fin melon. I, to get a couple of those seeds going, and all I need is one. I don't need to get a big planter out or a big pencil box or a big uh, shoe box. All I need is this sitting on my windowsill, and then I can water it with a little warm water from the sink, and that germinates them, especially this time of the year when we're still like in the 40s at night. But my plants don't know that because the water's falling on them every night, and it's warm. You can trick Mother Nature. So with that, have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, whatever. And don't forget to eat what you grow. It must be showing. I'm tired. Bye-bye, everybody. Yeah, I've got to get you out. You are really cool.